In this video, we use a simple spark gap to measure high voltage. In this video, I'll be dealing with some very high voltage. So if you are replicating anything you've seen here, then it is up to you to take the necessary precautions and safety measures for your experiment. So I've got an up and coming project where I use this high voltage transformer. Now, while it's claimed that this high voltage transformer puts out 400 to 600,000 volts and is only powered from a 3.7 volt battery, sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Um, and it probably is, but instead of speculating, why don't we test it? Now, a lot of us, including myself, don't have the money or really the need to invest in very expensive equipment to measure such high voltages. So, what do we do? Well, we can make a very simple spark gap. All of this is, is two zinc plated screws posing each other in a plastic mount to insulate them. And it takes roughly, and keyword roughly, 3000 volts to bridge a 1mm air gap. Now, several factors do come into it, including air temperature, air density, and even pollution in your area. So, we're only going to get a ballpark figure using this method, method to measure voltage. However, it's all that I require, and probably a lot of you do as well, is just a ballpark figure rather than a precision number. So, let's take a close look at the spark gap generator and then hook up our transformer. So, to make this simple spark gap, all I've done is printed a basic plastic mount. If you're interested in printing out this mount, there'll be a link down in the video's description. And I've got two zinc plated screws. They're 50 millimeters long and four millimeters in diameter. And I've just screwed that down onto a wood block to secure it. Now I've temporarily put a couple of alligator clips on the output terminals of the transformer. And you're gonna preferably want a couple of uh, alligator jumpers to hook up the input wires to your lab power supply or battery, whatever you're using to power the transformer. And I'm going to use a couple of screwdrivers. The screwdriver I'm going to use to adjust the spark gap distance here. I'm going to screw it in so it's a fairly short gap. And you're going to want a long-handed insulated screwdriver so that you can bridge the gap and short out, make sure there's no residual energy stored in the transformer. Also, you're going to want something to measure the gap with. I'm going to use a pair of vernier calipers. So, let's power up our variable lab power supply and see if we can get a spark out of this. Alright, so, you can see there it is easily bridging that small gap. I'm going to short out the contacts now I'm going to widen the gap until we don't get it sparking anymore. Alright, still sparking at that gap. I'm going to make it a little bit wider. Alright, still getting a gap, still getting a spark rather. Let's see if we make it a bit wider. Okay, we're not getting a spark anymore. So we're going to just close the gap up a little by little, creep up on it until we get a spark. Still nothing. All right, that looks like pretty much what we're gonna get as far as peak voltage. So now I'm going to measure the gap. All right, we're at 5.8 millimeter gap. So now we know our spark gap is 5.8 millimeters. All we have to do is times 3000 volts by 5.8 millimeters. So 3000 times 5.8, and we get a figure of 17,400 volts. 
or thereabouts. Remember, it's only a ballpark figure, not a precise number. Um, now, while I certainly wouldn't want to be zapped by this, it's a far cry from the claimed 400 to 600,000 volts listed. Uh, however, it will be just fine for the application I intend to use it for. In fact, it will be overkill. And if you want to see that project, I'll leave a link up in this video's corner so you can check it out. Um, this spark gap principle can be scaled up basically to any size to test very high voltages. You could test tasers and all sorts of things like it. Uh, all you have to do is scale it up depending how many volts you want to measure. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it would help out tremendously. And if you like videos such as this, do hit that subscribe button down below, it's free. Other than that, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.